Welcome, viewers, to CSUDH's very own Cardinal team playing in NECC's Front Pacific Frontier Champions Division. Here they'll be going against um, Sac State's green team. Um, as you can see here, we have very fast locks in by our team members, Orly, Kuno, um, Seven, Salty Splatoon, and Zephyr. At the agent locks, we have Orly going on Sky, Kuno on Harbor, Seven on KO, Salty on Viper, and Z Frame on Jet. Sac State is rocking um, a Harbor on Tech, a Sky on Jason Ive, Chamber possibly on Python. Um, CSUS Crimson has locked in Jet, and How to Feed has locked in Viper. Python just locking in Chamber right there, and Orly having locked in KO. Uh, not Chaos Sky. Kuna is not locked in Harbor. Salty locking in Viper. Z Frame locking in Jet. And Seven hovering over Sova right here while the rest of Sac State have locked in their chosen champions. Um, the first map will be Breeze. It is a best of three. Select so your agent. Goes. Locked in Sova with the last 10 seconds. Three, three round. Three game. BSU with the H will be starting off on defense. Meanwhile, Sac State will be starting on attack. I do wonder how they're going to go split because both teams are using two controllers and two, init two initiators while rocking a single duelist being Jet for both teams. Like we're having um, Salty go towards B as Viper to hold Here. B site, while um, Sac State is stacking towards A with their Viper and Chamber possibly lurking up mid here. And while Seven will be holding Nest side as Sova, Z Frame is going to be playing B possibly with. Be holding uh, B here with Viper. Early Stone spawn. And Kuno all the way up on A, ready to put out probably a Cascade here to slow down an A push. Looks like both teams have called a timeout. On technical difficulties, the player seems to have had a black screen, able to play. Quick issue fix. Ready. I wonder if mid is going to be first contact here. We do have Z frame and and seven here. So I'm probably waiting to throw the dart out to get some info down mid. Here. While Orly might throw a flash down mid at Sky just to be very aggressive mid control, while Kuno cascades down A main to slow down that push. Salty splits down Viper Wall to block mid. Backstay has a very default setup here, mostly stacking towards A, still contesting all lanes. Chamber places trip down B main but falls off. Meanwhile, Z frame slowly works up, possibly with saltier support to go into elbow to start contesting space here. You know, Sac State plays very cautiously, down, just kind of holding what they have so far. First contact made here in mid. Ghost versus Ghost. Sac State's Harbor Tech is going to put up a Harbor Wall. Or late healing Z frame here, who did some damage. Orly gets shot on the run out, and Python will get the first round pick on Z frame here with the chamber pistol. That's a game of weakness. Probably towards B side, or not rotating towards B. Still kind of slow walking it, slow pushing it. Salty might get some info here, or might die here from three man peak. Oh, gets info, backs up. He is able to get out alive. This is the opting to quickly down. rotate, giving up A in case. I would be bad if someone there. Spike planted. Fact, they has planted the bomb, and I will be in a post my situation pistol round 4v5. Ooh, Crimson with the nasty flank here might get possibly more than one. 
Ooh, patience is key here from Crimson. Only working up the sheriff, apparently. One enemy remaining. I was gonna be killing two while Tag cleans up on the classic. Two headshot. Keep it up. Screw up and they're on us. That first round there by Sex City, they very much played to not over peak and not really overheat. They got their peak mid, saw that was saw that the peak was towards B side, so like let's just go there. They slow walked it. And then from there, just took their advantage, just taking sight, not really worried. They didn't really seem like they cleared it too. They probably just had full confidence that they had B sight just by gaining off info of like, hey, their B lurker, their B player as Viper was pushed up with Jet. So B's probably clear. Let's do that. So for this round, CSCD just opting for a fast push down elbow here, fast and being slow walk. Meanwhile, Sac State doing the same type of default setup as they did pistol round. Ooh, will they get hit by chamber trip? Here. They opted to CCJ uh, might opt to not push this until they hear trap go down. Ooh, or they might be first contact here versus Viper. Yep, he is. Pops a flash, gets info that there is at least one there still. Sac State goes to opt to plant A. No contesting at all. Probably thinking it's probably considering it the first site. Ooh, Python is unable to get the kill, but and not do any damage as well. Still a bad situation for CCJ coming for retake versus Viper Benedict. Feeling eddy. Keep running quick through the smoke. Hard work goes up. Put them on the hard kill. Now to feed killing two with the bulldog. Well, he's able to get one. Fall back into orb. You get a second here. Ooh. Oh, Python works up as a flank down mid. He's slow plays so far, it's only been two rounds, but I've seen some work for Sac State is very much being cautious and just slowly kind of contesting every single space. Chamber trip for B main, um, and then they have Viper and Chamber play for mid for mid contestion while they have their initiator and their controller, their secondary controller go to A main. It's like similar setup again. DSCJ shopping for the setup they did for first pistol round. The frame immediately taking presence down mid. Salty. Expecting his gun. Here. Viper all is currently up on A, cutting saw saw sight lines from um Orly here to M7. For Kuno. Looks like Saxate's opting for a very much a default play here. Right here. Really good wall use by Sac State. Harbor wall use by Sac State. Really having, I don't really seen Cybers go up into all there and throw it from that angle pretty well. So it seems to be pretty good at cutting off sidelines for CSCDH because they very much are respecting the Harbor wall. They don't peek up, don't push up. Or they getting first pick here and shot in Crimson. From taking up mid space, might get caught here. Oh! Ooh. Ooh, Spike D-frame with the flick. Killing mid player. Pushing on to a 3v5 Here. retake for CCDH. Viper Warp goes in. Ooh. Unfortunately, we'll be caught out by Sky here. Orly will get a trade. Get back. Bossy trading out Orly. And Z-frame wrapping up um, how to feed. Down A main. Thank you. Putting Warp around for CCDH. I wonder if Sakta is going to be opting to keep on doing the kind of like what seems to be their default shot, or they might start changing it up. I feel like eventually CCDH is going to start reading that. Either Z frame because way more aggressive down elbow to hopefully get a pick no on the champion left. when he puts a strip. Or maybe even Salty Splatoon here. Yeah, looks like a similar play again by Sac State here. Maybe aggressive push here down A main? Nope, trading Sky Flashes on A. Harper right, goes in to be ready to put his wall up in Hall. Evan could get the kill here on this Harper if he were to peek that. I don't think he has a read for it yet. 
Like chamber bot. Standing oh. ahead. I can see. Drop a viper. I've got your trail. I'd say working up A here, popping sky ult oh, probably help, help get in. Or really shuts down sky. Let's try to view though here. Arbor orb to cover bomb expel. Ooh, Crimson might die here. Yep, getting caught out by Orly's flash. Good clear by Orly there, using the flash and not taking the risky fight. Looks like Saxay is opted to quickly rotate towards B, feeling that they have most of the pressure here. And Salty, read this push and delay them long Johnson's enough for Crimson to come and help them. Ooh, Python with the op, popping with Salty as he throws a molly. They're dodging the blind straight through Harbor Wall. Of course, he's popping his dash a little too. Get some use out of it. And he killed Chamber. Oh, oh Python getting the kill. The reswing. They know Ops here and they know we're Ops. Our roll comes in. Cutting off Op. Comply sprays by Tech here. Ooh, Tech might get a crazy pick here, yep. Yeah. Gonna get in the trade on Tech. Ooh! We're not getting the headshot. I just back sight. Time's not on his favor. Oh no. Out to be playing for time here. Rakuna will go for the kill. Who unfortunately will not. I don't think Op can be safe here. Out to be will die. Honestly, good recovery by Sex State there. They were down two, hadn't even gone to kill. I don't even think they really did much damage to CCGH before it came to the retake, but they were able to salvage a 3v5 out of that round. Later, they can see CSCDH is opting to save here while Sac State is opting for probably a half by. They do have Chamber ult. Chamber's probably, probably bought tech there. And who oh, judge? Might be dangerous here. Yeah, it looks like Sac State's opting for You want for to play? Game. Let's Chamber play. Chamber pops his ult. I suggest you move. He's not playing for window, going aggressive. Tech pops his harbor ult. Quick dash in there by Crimson. Let's quickly take sight. Spalty decides to back up to play with his team. D frame working down elbow. Possibly trying to get a flank here on this harbor. Does not get spotted by Trip. The chamber planted. does go to check, probably reading that someone's flanking him. Will he die from window here? Let's see if Z-Frame can get the kill in this chamber. Ooh, Z-Frame getting a headshot onto Crimson and being able to get out of it. Ooh, he dodges the headshot. chamber and he's able to get the kill on chamber. Dropping their op. Does he know that Harbor's in there? He does it. Oh, tech with the chamber judge will kill Crimson and kill Orly here. Caught out by his use of Ooh. How to feed will kill Salt. B is just, yeah, not the bad, not the rust offered Z there, just completely surrounded, flashed, there's not much he could do there. This was a pistol, this was a save round 4 um, DH though, and I think getting down those two kills just for the eco of it was pretty important. Um, Chamber was not able to feed more ult orbs, right? He wasn't able to get a kill with his ult, and looking, looking wise, they're able to get two ults out of that team in general. Play wise, looks like Saxe is going to go back to. Or A side here, Chamber is not playing for a lurk down B. He's not putting a strip down B elbow. You know, all the CSUDH will be opting for a similar play. Instead of switching D frame here for op for mid nest and seven here for tunnel sova. Quick pop flash here by Orly for mid check. Doesn't see anybody. Out to feed might lurk here. Meanwhile, the rest of Sax A will slowly work down A. Pop a quick flash by Sky to clear it. Let's see how the two members of CCH decide to hold the A site here. Game Bear fakes a TP. That they're just saying to hit 55 seconds on the clock. No flash down mid based off early flash. You know, here's the orb grab. Yep, here comes Dog by Orly to get some info. Dog will be Dog will be put down. Here comes Orb. Yeah. Dash out. Runa holding. Patience is here. Gets one. Can he get second? Nope. That's the backup. Oh my god. Z-Frame with a blind off shot. Killing Python there. Oh, unable to get the kill on Jason I. Bomb is not down yet. Um, is now dead on the grave after this guy, after Jason I've died there. They're coming, someone died by seven. 
have to feed off the plant, at least for some money. Planted. Heck, is trapped your cobblestone. It isn't old. By spray. One enemy remaining. Ooh, Hobbs is getting the morning going Hobbs to feed. Heck, we'll rush out to at least get one. Get one before getting traded by um, Kuno here with a right click. Hobbs will be resecured. And CCBH will be able to go to their second round win. Or the second one round. intermission here as we're waiting for the time looking at the eco saying that CHDH is up eco wise actually we'll be going for um a save some quick contact down mid here orly might get swung by three going to come in with the with the FK, and unfortunately the quick finger will kill orly situation here for Kuno. Oh, unfortunately the Stinger will kill Kenny. You're getting a headshot before getting a secondary body shot. Turn quickly working down mid. Chamber is Spike holding planted. that though, but um, their harbor is still in the call. Drone. Dangerous situation here for seven if the harbor decides to drop. Cops are killing Viper here from long range. And we're TV. Oh, Python does this. Thank you. getting one before he heavily damaged. Decides to back off, reposition. Dodges flash by the grace of the pixel on the wall. The 2v3, not really. One down. Give Z frame. I'm gonna go for a save. Or One for enemy remains. I get a kill though. Yeah. Honestly, I think. I think they really kind of saved this round by just playing. They threw a loop. They didn't the kills. I think by staying so cautious, they, they gave the present that there was more on site. Probably preventing Z-Frame from doing that, because I'm sure Z-Frame had the rib that there was only one, and he was towards Zor, he might have run for that to see if he can get bombed. Here. Going into round eight of the first half, and I'd just like to mention that currently, this UDH is going to have a fundraiser soon for the National um, Breast, Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Um, hopefully, when we do a stream more properly to announce that, can have you guys there to support it and kind of show support for people that are some risk. Begin round eight. Round half. Actually, opting for a B push here. Quick flash for clear. Z frame repositioning to probably get a one before he dashes up. We'll get blinded. Does not dash out though, dodge. Dash is on site. Ooh, Kuna will be caught out here by Viper on this A, this a push. Looks like Sexy's opting to rotate, feeling that they got a weakness down A. CSUDH might have read it, starting to rotate more of their members towards A. Salty getting a pick on Heck here before, while Crimson, uh, Crimson while um, Z Frame and Python engage in an op off, and Python will win. Salty does have a lurk here that might give him bomb control. No. If Jason and I will be playing safe and just going onto side 2. How to feed Baiko Elba? Ooh, might get caught out here. Oh, Spike there. planted. Oh, here. An elbow. There they are. Ooh, this Shut late lurk by um, Crimson here might be the death of Salty. No, Salty just flicks and kills him. Tempo's there for me. Salty gave the round with Viper over his two. Oh, he walks right into him. Unfortunate round. Unfortunate for Salty. I'll say I think they get a 3k there. So, his eco shouldn't be too bad compared to the rest of this team. First half score wise is 2 for CSUDH and 6 for um, Sac State here. Next state opting for the risky play of not grabbing bomb. Plan to have to grab assets of the sky. You know, CCDH is Get opting out of for my a, a pusher through B. As it is their save. Can Z frame get us some crazy knife kills here down mid, or will he opt to go towards the door? I'll just say, there's seven's info. 
Ooh, Kuno will kill the Aqua. Actually, with the ghost. Getting the trade on Python. That off control could be pretty big. I suggest you move. Oh, Nikram unable to get confirmed the kill here. Has two knives left. Going for the risky play of rushing, running it down. Oh my god, Harbor here. Tech is using his new card. Spike planted. Safe card bomb. Only stat double updraft. The Magon on top of um, Triangle there. God, meanwhile, while well, Crimson of Z Prime has been putting pressure on site, the rest of CCH have been cleaning up the rest of Sac State here, killing, killing two, dropping op, and dropping the Viper. Oh my god, Crimson with a flank on bridge. This could be very dangerous. Oh, yeah, enemy no charges left. Oh, 1v2. No charges left. Knife off, no one dies. Oh my god, Crimson killing bomb diffuser and getting the kill on on Z frame here, securing round for his team. It was looking pretty dangerous there for Sac State, almost losing their, their very big buy. Let's see how this works out. Like Sac State's opting towards A. Your chamber is exploring. On, or Viper going B. Bloody death! Very could push here by two people sack stake and frame. Might get contact here by Viper. If Z already has contact through at the door. Oh my god, I, that stuff scared me. Python getting killed on Kuno. Working up. Z frame hears this. Will Z frame get the turnaround kill here? Grounded. Oh my god, second? Oh, Python getting the kill on Z-Frame. Trading out, but Orly will get the kill on Viper here. Bring this into 3v3. Meanwhile, this will turn into a 1v3 on Sai. Can Orly, can Orly ult here, ult here, maybe hear it. Back rushing backside, jumping on top. Oh my god, Orly unable to go through the wall, getting slowed before getting killed. Oh my god, very close. Oh, that dangerous backside, yeah. Man. Spike planted. Revealing area. I have faith in you that he can push this. Uh, oh my god. Oh, I was there. I saw his vision. I saw it. I believed in it. I think when both teams have had the opportunity, just going off the op, I think both have been able to use their ops when they have them very effectively. I think just so far that op, that op advantage, just in terms of just and upping sex day a lot with these fights, just being able to just one shot people. Both teams are pretty competent, so ain't missing is a factor. I thought Michael for Wait, players to try to kill whoever works out. Ooh, Kuna will get flash. Quick dash in by Crimson, not capitalizing too much on the flash. Dog might hit Kuno. Yes, it will! Oh, Kuno unfortunately will not be able to get the kill there. Backstay has not opted to yet, so the lane. I've got your trial. Hit hit to kind of for her pressure. D-Frame will die to how to be able to pre-stack down mid. This is a very bad fight hold. Or very rough Spike cycle. Spike down A. Well, they will get one before getting traded out. And seven. A six bullet Last in the chamber. Actually, we'll run him down, <laughs> holding him back as he tries to run away. Oh, the war of preventing. Oh, I saw it. I saw the vision. Last round in the half. Good thing for CSCDH, though, is that they're able to win this round. We'll activate the 9 3 curse in their favor. I think then you'll see the comeback. By the way, this is by round for both teams. Looks like Z Frame or Crimson will be opting to use the op, not their chamber, who has op of his own with the soul. Right there. Right there. Looks like CCDH has opted to be very passive, which I think makes sense. That hasn't really worked out for them if they try to be aggressive. A. You want to play? Let's play. play. Or just getting hit with every single kill in the game for Sky and just dying on right there. Chamber pushing up down B. Probably trying to get a cheeky kill here. By two, we're losing the rough spot here against that op. Oh, he definitely had a. Oh no! 
across there was a little too high there. Yeah, look at Saxe immediately running to capitalize on this. But well, in their mind, they think it's just a Oh no! Remember, Python's a menace here. One day. Ooh, Orly shutting him down. As all. Here comes Viper Bolt. Spike planted. Crimson is in a rough spot here for early. He might kill him if the ball drops. Found one. Oh. Ooh. Trade is there. Stunned. No walks through it. Oh my god, the feed is right there. Player standing. Oh. He's attacking the pillar, unfortunately, he will be instant tap. Oh. Orly definitely had a vision there. I saw it. Probably knew he just didn't have the. A little bit sooner across their movement, probably would have gone. Switching sides. Maybe, but... I'll be ending first half 2-10 in Sac State's favor. See how Tissidus opts to play um, attacking here and how Sac State opts to play defense? Position-wise, it seems kind of similar just that since Sac State doesn't have a Sova, they're not really having their Sentinel. Or they're having their Sentinel play way for their lower B, but... DSUDH is opting for maybe a split Python is going to be dangerous here for this if he opts to push down mid range of it. A cascade here by Kuno to block off mid door. Crimson, it would be in Crimson's um, playstyle to push that though. That's to see if he can get a cheeky timing on their mid players. Never mind, looks like CC is opting to completely give up main. Go straight to mid. Headshot. I'm gonna woke up Python. Who is Ephraim getting the crimson? Oh, D7 with the being Hawkeye killing with the shock dart. Be a 4v2 retake and Sac State's favor. This is still dangerous though. Sac State have been able to consistently win rounds of Ephraim 2, just theoretically. Just like Ephraim's gonna have to play a little bit back using, waiting for his team's info until he can still come in to help him. Ooh, whopping? Oh, almost swapping. Oh, Zephyrim hurting on his last legs. I peek again to try to get a kill. He will. Oh my god, the unlucky. The unlucky move on here. Oh, we'll get one. We'll get a second. Oh, we'll survive on 15 HP and pick an upgrade to a revolver for sure. CDH can win round and they're next. Um, that they should lose. Um, could be looking for a comeback here. As of right now, it looks like Sac State's opting to come go from into the unknown B3A to 3A3. Three three. Looks like CSCDH will be opting for a fast push down A. Ooh, Python with this pistol. Working out. I get one pick. Never mind. Kuno shutting him down. Jack, though, is hiding. Mine is, doesn't get spotted by dog. He's safe. Oh, never mind. Seven just his omniscient wall bangs him through harbor wall and through crate. Oh my god, seven pop off. He got another one. Jason Ive in the flank. Taking Crimson back up from the pressure there. Oh, jump peek. Intuition. Crosshair. Oh, Crimson's waiting. Well, it looks like Hot Defeat is holding mid. Oh. Oh, you got it. Crimson is holding for this run out by CSCDA, just trying Sending to get a head. kill. Never mind, seven with the intuition. Spots him, knows he's there. Nah, he's not gonna commit the drone. Could it still be dangerous? Oh, well. Yeah, they didn't. Hit. They're not. Hot defeat will die. Oh, and Crimson will die, unable to get a kill, but feeding Orly and Orb.
right? Just the round kind of determines what happens here. PSCDH are able to win this rifle round, but there should be a disadvantage. They'll be able to keep up momentum to at least win two more, or to guess before they have to win another hard round, a more equal. Yeah. How it goes. Eight, divided by two. Seven just, it's his time. This is his half. Gets the kill on Python. Oh! The angle isn't there though. See if the frame will be able to safely cross. Clutching his fingers. Oh, Tech might get a kill here. Contact. Oh! Crimson will kill Z-Frame. Seven, I know you have it in you. Just wobbling the hybrid. He's right there. He's so close. Yeah, this would be dangerous. Uh, never mind. Looks like Kuno has the read possibly on this late lurk. Oh, catch. Crush me. Um, Sarah. And have to feed. Get at least one. One kill on holding the site. Only seven with his omniscient spots up. Here comes a shock dart. Will land? Yeah, it doesn't even need to land. But how to one 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 remaining. Get that Kuno will get the 3k down mid on his late lurk, so. I think that was a good reflex. together there. and overwhelm. I don't know if he heard the footsteps or just had some intuition that, you know what? Usually I like to late lurk. They're probably going to late lurk here. It's like Sack State, we're going to be calling a timeout. And we'll be back after a minute intermission. Here we have the CDH 510 winning rifle round that they should have lost. The early round confrontation between Sac State and CSU Dage here. Ooh, flash goes out. They push on Slash. Doesn't matter. Seven, top top, killing one. Multi killing Jason Ive. This is rough. Python is there with the pistol. Oh my god. Python ends 7K, ending his reign of terror. We'll get traded out by Z Frame. In fact, it's, it's stuck here in the corner. They might push them for the ego. Yes, they will. Well, out the feed, left alone, right there. late, got the 1v3, he will have access to Vandals though, down, um, down main, he just does not contest their, their goblinry. Yeah, it looks like they won't contest Bloody it, death. upgrade to a Vandal, and it's gonna come down to a Viper versus 3. As the crosshair placement for the right. This is a not a bad cross though for us. Oh, we'll kill early. Will not notice Kuno there. Hold we'll that as Z frame with Kuno there as backup, ready to support in case Z frame off the one we will. Snack time. Mm, sorry, only brought enough for me. I think Sex State would have been in a more favorable position there if they all bought short. Down the elbow and just rushed it. Is that like sky down, sky main? Have four stack down elbow with the shorty, bait sky, and then just run at him. Don't expect it. Thanks. Obviously, that time side is by round four. Back state. <laughs> it looks like Python is opting. It's his time. He needs to bust out the op. Light armor. No util other than his TP. Can he hold this? Side? I suggest you move. We'll be able to hold it without resistance, so getting hit. <laughs> Seven, it's his time. Kills how to feed down mid door is shutting down their controller. Only have tech left. Python opting to back up, not risking his op down yellow. Going nest or going bridge. Actually, no, he's gonna go doors. Or opting another angle of attack. Or sex stater. Salty, he's not mid though. Right Multi confrontation on Crimson. Oh, never mind. Might, they might dodge each other or Crimson might get the read and kill Salty. Oh my god, it's Crimson, they clear deep, he is. Oh my god, Crimson intuition time, it says time! Oh, oh my god! Off the counter, he's slowly worked up. Oh, Op, Op is alive. Do they, do they eagle for the Op? Chase him down, they run it down. They won't, but Python is not gonna play for running out picks. Like, we'll play to be safe. Well, I say safe, but it looks like Kuno running him down. Viper's, uh... Oh my god, Salty shuts down the up! Unfortunate for Python here. Won't be able to grab it though. Um, out of not trying, not just. I guess Salty didn't feel his team needed. He didn't need to get it. They're fine with it. 
This is the momentum though that I mentioned a while back. This is it. 710 went from from 210 to 710. This is the time. Think of is that a Marshall I saw on one of the players on Python. No, it's on tech actually. It's like um Saxy's opting for a, a one forward split. Oh my god, Salty hitting the forehead with the bird. We'll dodge it though. Pick on Python, dangerous for Z frame here, Trick is fingered, doesn't matter, kills out the feed, dashes out, contests sight for Z. Oh my god, Walt headshots um, Crimson here, is a 3k, has two left, could get a B, so this team lets him Ego go for it. Oh, looks like he's gonna steal it from it, he does. And we'll still the second, letting um, frame happen, 3k, and be complacent. How's everyone feeling? Good? Because you look great. Now the buy run again for Sac State. This is another opportunity they have to at least start building back momentum in their favor. So if I were to look at the economy, um, CACDH is definitely up very heavily. I doubt that there anyone struggling for Dosh. Sac State right opting there. for a 2 split. Insta Cascade here, probably coming from Kuno while Orleaf pop flashes through the Cascade. Some synergy here. Yep, exactly. C frame, C frame just dodging the flash. Surprisingly, I thought that would at least half blind him, not not quarter blind him like that. Orly does get info down mid, but the info is so general, there's probably not much to capitalize. Oh, Grand dodges it. This guy's close. Fight down here. Slowly working like a snake through mid. Possibly it's fantastic. Backing off A main to down C. Down C to H down B. This will be a B execute, it seems, unless they get a pick somewhere in mid. Probably. I've got your train. Oh. <laughs> Dangerous dash by Z Frame. If Tech was willing to commit his life to it, I would have killed Z Frame yeah. here. Unfortunately, Z Frame will punish Tech, getting Tech instead. Shock still, still winnable. Shock they won. They won worse odds. But not a salt to kill their viper. Based on killing Z Frame and elbow, and not elbow, um, down tunnel. Enemy before ball big time. Seven? No. I mean, it's like going for the classic. Oh! One enemy remaining. Orly getting the wall game. Seven getting this. It's just looking rough. Crimson does have up. He will save it. We'll keep his eye. area. First game for next. Ah, the momentum is just insane. Do the chaos game? I can control. Um. Yeah. Oh my. Crimson is just. He's in his burrow. I didn't down any man, which is respectable. I think that up is definitely gonna be. Oh! Oh! He got... Oh my god! Oh, he's probably a little upset. A little upset with that. I'd be too if I died literally last second. Last millisecond. As I'm trying to put clear. Um, see how this works out. Crimson will unfortunately have not as good as Eco as the rest of his team, as he will get the save penalty. But he will have op. And that op is the greatest equalizer of this game. And we'll see if he can use it to greatly equalize this eco imbalance. Oh my god, quick elbow push? Oh my god, sky flash for info? Okay, counters by rushing B? Not really caring for elbow, they can have it, who cares? D frame going for... They're now playing on wall here. I don't know if this is the... the I mean, he has angle advantage. But this is a rough play. Just because of the pipe flow. But it doesn't matter now. Oh my god, how to feed. Does he read it with a stinger? Pretty oh. The timing. Oh, oh Zephyr will get the kill. Dropping all armor though. Pretty dangerous. Is two shot by me. Oh my god. Salty. One enemy remains. Get him the kill. Say it looks like CCD has equalized around this advantage 210 to 1010. Momentum is in their favor, winning the buy that was Sac State. The like Sac State walked to force here, think, knowing that they need to stop this, they need to stop this momentum. Economy wise, if I can get a quick pull up of the scoreboard here, so I can see what we're working with Bezos and who's not. Um, yeah, as you can see here, CCDH is very much up good right now. Um, Sac State on the other end is struggling. 
Looks like Python's opting to op here with his ult. If he can get these first, if he can get at least two kills, or I think he could get this round for Sac State. I think he can. It's gonna rely on him just getting lucky on when he peaked. Like having the read on where to peak. Um, Kuno will probably end the frame, probably call him the hey chambers on A, so ops on A. Looks like CCH is not really gonna care for that though. They're gonna try to confront this. Or they're baiting the rotation. Oh my god, it's a free site, but do they know it? Oh, it doesn't really matter now. It's a free site to them with the C-Tail. Oh no. Oh, Salty isn't it though. Too dangerous though. Um, oh no, Python does not hold Ness. Leaving Salty alone. Forgotten. Dead behind Pillar. Um, you know, Python will go net. We're open. Info someone's there for CSUDH. CSUDH doesn't care because they're playing for where Dory can't really fight. Kuno, the martyr for CSUDH, riding alone on site. Almost got a 2k there. Unfortunately, both of them out by CSUDH. Salty. They almost, they almost, they, they almost seven them. They almost wall banked them for two, 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 two walls. Oh! Chamber will be put down. Fall spray. Seven just killing it with the ult. Fortunately, half the people will not be able to secure round. Oh, yeah. Like about the dark there by I7. Blame it on Tennessee because of the orb from the bomb going off. Not the economy. I'd probably, yeah. Actually, it's probably gonna offer a save here. Honestly, I, I wonder. I wonder why they wouldn't go for a save here by just all buying sure heavy armor. I think economy wise, it's probably still cheaper than a sticker and light. So that way, just have the have the ability to. Boys and I suggest you move. Oh my god, fast push, easy. Oh man, a real contact. Raiding out, Harbor you. God, eating the kill. Oh my god. You know what? In a different reality tech. Uh, the, the vision was there. I don't know. He got Valorant and the Stinger just didn't want to work with them, but it was there. Hot speed will kill one, turn this into a 3v3. This is winnable for both teams. You have advantage of that. Um, uh, oh, Seven might get killed here on Hot Speed. No, Hot Speed will be able to slither his way into. The Vibro, never mind, he'll walk out trying to play for around it. Holy reason. I got Python with these, these dangerous off blind shots. Oh, oh no! Oh, he goes to one. Very rough, yeah. I don't think this is something they can get it. They might just have to save here. For one enemy remaining. Oh. Last player standing. Seven will save the round, but I will honorable mention that flick. Jeez. How if we, yeah, how match do we point. It is match point, which I will not jinx. Um, CSUDH is the school that I am. Um, now yeah, this is the force here for Sac State. But, well, this is this is the feast or famine round. I mean, I've kind of said that before for previous spy rounds, but I mean, this is it. This is map one. Happens here, sky trade down mid, Z frame works up fast. Oh my god, the vision was there, we'll get traded though. Oh, chamber, he lives, he, he runs away. Oh my god, the bomb? Oh, spike down rough. mid. Carrying spike. I can I can still pick it. 3v4. Take flight. Out of beat. That orb might actually. Oh my god, the orb. No, seven. The intuition seven. Read it. Read the push out. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Not the feature that will. <laughs> not the street. But if it's crazy, Shire will not work. Um, actually, Bitch will have to not go. Be Our spike carry is down. Oh, okay, spike so down. Attack attacker spawn. Orly. Last player standing. Oh, the strafing. 7k. It's in him, I believe. He has a dog in him. He has a vision. He has the intuition to make this round sauce. It's gonna come down to if he can 30 seconds left. Yeah, put the crosser on the angle. Oh, in the dart. Will dart sky him there? It does it. No. Oh. 
unlucky. Damn, that dart didn't hit. I wonder if he crouched there or if it's just the angle of the dart was just below the head there. 12-11, no match point. Eco still good for CSH. We'll see how this works. Out of feed really is feast or famine area. Zero dosh to his name. Struggling. Could barely afford the bullets in his phantom. Watch this. Here. Elbow push here. Tunnel? Back state counters with their own mid door push. Really weird push out here. Cascade does give info where they're at. Oh. We'll get one, we'll get two. Oh my god, tackle. Up on Crimson, on Crimson mid. gets three. Oh, I'll take out of them. But as you have been in them to kill tech here, then I'm here sneakily sneak through that viper wall. Oh my god, the dog went to Narnia. Oh, poor beast. Not deep. Switching sides. Overtime. Occupational hazard aside. And overtime. It's here. It's the moment. Black State is stacking all the way on A. Um Oh never mind. They just they just do that, I guess. They, they get a little cheeky over there. They're going for their default since since pistol round. Try it intrude. Have chamber trip down B. And Viper work up mid and three position. And Looks like Dage is almost to switch away to their back with the uh, Sky and Silver Eye, or I mean their counterplay that they've done around them. Oh. Oh, the question by. Um. This Sac State Sky there. Frame Cheeky Angle on top. Oh! I think instead can be senior at the feet. Night, night. Oh! It doesn't matter though. And gets the kill. Goon, uh, Goon, Goon also gets the kill on Crimson here, shutting down their main entry, and and their and their post plant control. Goon, uh, Goon, um, Tech doing his tried and true Arbor mid wall from Hall. I I can't believe this entire. That, Standing um, ahead. I think he's done that wall like I think five times in the course of um. CCDH is like defense round and they never read that he would open. Right here. I wonder if this is like they just didn't think it was worth the, the effort to divert power up there when they can hold stuff. But dangerous push here. 2v3. Two directions of attack. If Kuno kills tech here, it's it's I think this round is for CCDH here. Or seven. Out of the omniscient. Left. Oh my god, the wall bing is there, seven! It's right there! It's actually like the <laughs> there Spike go. planted. Dog goes in, 3v4v2, dog will stun, count safe flash, Z frame doesn't matter, he leads oh. One enemy Ow, remaining. I cannot believe he got that flash. That is actually... Oh my god, yeah. Um, but, I think Z frame is on a match from all these sky flashes he's dodged. He dodges them like last oh, second too, I've one never... Side, one side. Like he just doesn't matter so There's flashes don't exist for him in this game. Switching sides. Match point. Oh, CSCD just favor. Yes, we go into aerial cam mode. We'll fly into the heavens as we look at the eco. Python opting to buy op and not buy armor. Risky, risky deal, but he has chamber, so he can get out of most fights. Oh my god, I just if you look at <laughs> if you look at the round um, wind differential split here, as you can see, attack was not went out for CSCD, but right, defense wasn't, but attack was very much was so. He's is opting for a default here. Chamber is playing very aggressive. Could catch out Kuno if Kuno does not Oh my Spike god. Down, B. Just, guys, the read. Oh! I don't think it's worth it. Worth the fight I got the spike. Damn. Damn. Python with the patience and the Kanda hiding in the. And not peek out. Oh! It doesn't matter. Kuno just killed him. Damn, he killed him with the phantom headshot. I'm pretty sure that's 30 meters. If he had 
Five your armor, he would have survived. Unlucky there for um, Python. Frame has bomb, fully works up. Oh, back state getting baited to rotate out. Crimson, this all comes down to the 3v1. Oh my god, he just did it. Killed Crimson, gave fight for, 30 for B, seconds but left. he does have bombs, so he needs to make sure he plants it. Let's just go overheat too hard here. Fair use of smokes. I, I probably would have saved them Poison just so I can do. I'll replay if I really feel like I can, we can like, save the town. Here. I, I can understand wanting to just confirm it. It is the last one. It could be them winning the map. Toxins going up. Uh, two on one. It's a two on one. That's it. Art to McDonald's. One tunnel. Dark. Um, I got called. Oh, the wallbangs are not there. Here. Oh. Oh my god. Down bomb. Last player standing. Oh my god. Confirm the round still. Unlucky. I wonder if there's a bomb that can't work now. Switching like sides. Was... Overtime. Make this, um. Um. KCD. Start Z frame. I'm doing a default play. This seems to have like sense in effect. Um, that was working out. First time this default happened, KCG was able to very much capitalize. Probably. Let's see if they can do it. Again. I think it's worth the trade. Traded it within a minute 20. Probably take a head of length. My god. Um, Python here working to deviate the game from the original player. Workouts. And actually work up elbow. Doesn't matter Blinded. though. Early. Free cogs, everything. And just knew he was there. Credit. He was like, someone has to be elbow. You know, Sack State are, I guess, trying to use that flash to bait out, um, bait out a B hit here, I guess. Thinking, oh, they'll be out of a rope. Toxins going up. That's Poison's off. Toxin screen down. I don't know why. Uh, Boys and girls remaining. 30 seconds left. On how to feed. Go. Oh, unfortunately, it's the Crimson will clear. Spike planted. Seven K. It's his time. It's his moment. The wall thing a clock. Oh no, they just got shot. instantly shot. Oh! That's just a rough beat. Huh? Long range, beats a Vandal. I can count with you still. Oh my god. Oh, Vegas Fox is coming. Oh, that, he actually might have gotten headshot. Oh. Switching sides. Match point. Right there. Let's see how the ops that do attack here. Now, Sac State ops to read them and counter them. Um, are they, did they buy an op? I've been by here. Nope. It's like Python has learned that getting headshotted with the Phantom from past 30 meters is no way. Wait, fresh. I have Vandal with armor. Got the info. Not a complete rotate, but it's actually in their favorite environment. So they can gamble that. Poison off. Tried intrude. Going mid. Holding pillar. Gonna play late lurk. As vipers do. You know the rest of CH is gonna holding. They're trying to bait out a rotate while Sac State is being patient. I think they've done a really good job of in this game of being patient. Poison oh mid. no. They found him. Now he's there. He evacuated does he hold it? Nope, he's gone. Poison's off. Copy. Disengage. 
you know, CCDH works. I've done a tech is in a really good spot here if they don't clear him. And Python is holding doors with his life. Angle, crosshair placement on, on site. Oh, salty getting an according. Python trade. Oh my god, salty getting a second kill in mid. Salty is just, mid is his, mid is his own personal seat. I don't, I don't know why. I'm really hard to get Oh my god, seven. Seven. <laughs> seven Hawkeyeing a little bit, that's okay. Oh my lord. Oh my god again, he goes for it One again. Enemy remaining. He hits him too, I think. Oh, oh my god, two head taps. I would be so upset if I was piped on there. Actually, oh. I guess Switching that piece sides. of metal could Over time. jam around me. Yeah, let's go. His defense round for CCH. Um. Keep up. They hold this. They kind of been rotating on which rounds they win over time and which rounds they. Win. <laughs> Going for the player for Python. Oof, Crimson will get for it. What is that? The first five second pick there. Oh, seven. That was you there. But do you know they're there? Check it. Running gun it. Oh no! Oh, the paranoia was there, but it wasn't there enough to get him to act. We'll clear it. Oh, the rotation from down. But how does CCDH handle? Boys and boys. Full pressure. Or lead. Spike Making down, a play here to at least get one, and it worked. We're killing rounds there. Oh, he knows his mission. Oh, out of feet. Back state, rotate again. Yes, they will. Oh no, how to how to feet is just running it down. A, hey, it's a clear for everything. I don't know that yet. Free state. It doesn't look like CCDH will have to catch. I'm um, sack state on there. Thirty seconds left. Or retake. Spike planted. Just early. Three cogs of flash. He has another flash in 10 seconds. They're on doors. Oh, oh lord. Oh, no oh, I think the angle just brought the feet to kill him. Oh my god. Let's orally get the player standing. To another guy. Oh, got one though. He can't leave safe comms his teammates. I got my one. Guys, two, two out of sides. Match point. Is match point. See how this goes out. I fight on. Did it one overtime, it didn't work out. He didn't do it a second overtime, and it worked out. He's gonna do it this October. If it works. Regarding buying the op, the norm. He is opting to play down doors. But I think it's a better way. Trying to get with people. Hey. No. Flash. Oh, it does beat out Z. Down here, Salty opting to rotate or to lurk. Oh, my thousand. Oh, very I heal. Oh, there's me. Oh, 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 my god, Salty and Crimson having a little rotate off there. Here comes around. Oh, oh my god. Crimson's going window. What the? Oh, oh my God! The late plays here by both respective. Oh. 
Oh, Z frame. That spike carrier is down. <laughs> oh, spike down, oh, mid. Yeah, we're gonna. Bye. And you build back. Oh, Z frame, go. 30 seconds left. Z frame needs one more, and he gets his dash. Oh my god. Last player standing. Ah. Oh. Spike down, B. We both also carry two kills. I got the spike. There it is. There it is. Punch. There it is. Defenders Juggling the back win. and forth and back and forth. Good play though by both teams. Very intense match. And I get a. Um, very intense match. I think very good comeback by CFDH. They weren't able to finalize it into a map win. I think it did. I think it was a good morale boost because I think if they were to end that map like 13-2 or 13-4, it would have been really rough into map two. But since they're able to end map one at least going into overtime. Time's over. I think that's good. They should have enough morale to think, yeah, we can still win this uh, for map two. Hopefully they can carry it in. Welcome, everybody, to map two of NDC Pacific Frontier Champions Division. As you can see, we having second map B ascent. First night, I prefer Lotus. I understand. That's a very good play. Um, team comp wise, Reyna, an immediate C I see by Crimson, who was the Jet last map. Python, the Chamber, going Jet. Very interesting using a double duelist setup. I've never really seen that in NDCC, so I'm kind of. I'm interested to see how it works out. I think it can be very, very aggressive. Like, you know? Agent wise, they're going double controller and do initiator, so no Sentinel. Map, as they had Chamber last map. For CSU DH, we're having Kuno insta locking. He already knows his job. It's Harbor. 7k insta locking. Nova. Orly going back on Sky, I see him. Z frame. Going on to Raze. Salty. Back on Vice. Choose your agent. So, I think, yeah, CSCDH will be attacking first and Next table. Mopped. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what aggression plays sex they do here. Because they weren't very aggressive on... And starting map two, we having two caster join us or another caster join. I mean, snap or down. Um, hello. Hello. Happen. Come to myself. We're live. We're in it. Python's pushing up down B. Hello. <laughs> like the introducer. Okay. Um. My name is Dan. I used to play for CPD. Spike planted. And also Pro. Um. Is it 2022? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Last player oh, well, standing. I feel like it's been a while. Yep. Um, I don't really know how to do intros, but we're here. I think so. The audience knows what the deal is. I, I hope so. <laughs> right. I, I hope so. Let me tune in. 
with that, Dan will be casting that too, as I unfortunately have to leave, as I have my own mini season too. I wish DH all the best luck. It seems like they won pistol pretty confidently. Oh, I'm being called to give a seat. Oh, well, thanks, Dan. All right, I'll be taking over, guys. Looks like we're at zero one right now. I just hopped in, but um, DH, I guess, won the first map. First round, sorry. And sorry, do we know? I I, I don't know yet. Did they win first map or did they lose to Sac State? All it's 14 15, that's the nail biter. But um, these two teams historically have been rivals. Going back to the old, um, the old days back when Cardinal was called Burgundy. Um, the first championship actually, I believe, was fought against Sac State a very long time ago, and it was a reverse sweep. And I remember that it was the old Burgundy versus Sac State at Icebox, the final map. So I think it's always a pleasure to see these two play. It's always interesting to see kind of how that rivalry evolves, I guess, over time. And looks like here they might they unfortunately got thrifted. Side state's part. We'll see if Salty Splatoon can clutch this, but with the Marshall Z4 HP and as Viper, it's a little it can happen. 49 HP now. Let's see what his plays are. Goes wall down. Seconds left. And looks like CSU. Sac State has gone the thrifty for the second round. Now it's a one to one. Looks like Salty Spoon is at the top of the leaderboards with five kills and two deaths. Very interesting for Viper, but we'll see. They're will they be going to this one with a thrifty. Only two, looks like there's only three deagles now. On board with light armor from Z frame and Salty Spittoon. We'll see what the play is going to be. Looks like they're going to be five stacks in the main. And might be doing a bummer. Let's see how this works. Alright, Reyna from Zack say gets the first kill. And this looks like they read CSUDH perfectly, unfortunately. They gambled right, they stacked 4 on B, and that's where the CSUDH deck goes, but this, this round can still be saved. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Looks like the round's pretty much over, and now it's just Orly on Sky left. Someone said national champion in the chat, thank you. Thank you, I'll be here um, for the rest of the game. <laughs> It looks like, unfortunately, it's a flawless on the end from Sac State towards the Minkus Holtz, but it's okay because it means we can go into a buy round. The only thing is it does kind of build up an insane economy for Sac State here, so it will be, you know, hopefully they'll be able to dismantle this and bring it back. Everyone has a really good buy right now for, um, I mean, good economy on, uh, on the end of Sac State. But Dominguez Hills has a full buy somewhat. Two players are on light armor. That's okay. Hopefully, all Util is present. And we'll see how this goes. This is gonna be a stack on the A this time. Reyna and Sky are ready, and Viper is on the other side of the map. Good first pick on the end of BH from Kuno. Out. Out. And looks like they're gonna be committing to A right here. B frames already in. And Sac State looks to have completely paid for the retake here, backing off from that challenging site. Blinded. So we have two posted up pep hell. And Salty Sp Spittoon right gets there. the off camera kill on the one hand in the back. And hopefully this is a flawless from Mingus Hills. Well done. Long. Great job. So we brought this back. Hopefully, you know, it get be gets better from here. Someone says in the chat, Salty got it on him. I believe he does. Is he currently he is seven to three as Viper, which is really great. Although it looks like CSU Sac State is gonna be putting in a off. I don't know if they'll be investing in one, we'll see. 
All right, looks like the jet Pyth mount does have an op in, and he'll be posted up main. So he'll be peeking maybe into the sky Pick or sofa. Thanks for aiming once again on both teams. Scout destroyed. So this time the stack is a bit more evenly distributed on the end of side state. Only two plays here: Viper and Sky. So they've gained control of A main, and Viper is still lurking on the end of B. Maybe this time Raina will make the same dis mistake, maybe she won't. But Viper is in a great position right now to hold on for that one. Not really much going on right now. I know she's playing. Blending down the clock. And looks like Reyna did get the pick and won the duel this time against Viper. But DH has managed to get the site for A. Unfortunately, we did get Harbor picked yeah. off by this guy. That's a 3v5 post plant. T1 site and this be one in main. And DH, hold on, we'll see how this goes. They're already on site, they start defusing. Harbor walls down. Or, I'm sorry. He's gonna be sticking it. Oh. This is close. Nice try, nice try. They almost got it. A little bit hard with the post fight, of course. Just having three people against five is tough, but it's still a really Snack competitive time. map right now. Mm. Sorry. And it Only is, you know, enough Ascent for me. is a very technical map. You do have to have set games, set plans, and just set executions. So I think it's still competitive. Three two is really, it's good. This time looks like we'll be having of a more even split between the players so we'll be seeing viper and sova on b main and the other three are stacking a main no mid player for now looks like sova might be using you to clear mid. Oh, mid going on. actually viper is posted up right now in wine we'll see if dh realizes this no. her wall is positioned for this so it is they can make the read here. It looks like Z frame does have it. You might be kind of Good trade by Orly. Orly gets two here. And A is wide open. It does look like they won't be committing and they will be rotating, which is good because now B is entirely open. They don't know that, but we do. Looks like our. We're still in our bike right now, going into the game. Clearing it up. And unfortunately, Spike Orly down, did lose B. the 1v1 versus the Reyna ulti right here. Still 3v5. Or 3v3. Still winnable. Great trade by Kuna there. 30 He's seconds left. The we'll be catching off the other harbor, Wall but the jet is already posted up game man. Oh. Unfortunately... We really Welcome to there. my world. But we do have Viper It should be a secure win for this round. Poison's off. Outside of Sykes State, they only have a Sova, which can be detrimental in this Viper pit if he still has his util. And they have the Jet, who has now switched. So he's keeping his up and switched to a classic, and they are passing each other. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Match the 1v1 between Sova and, S and Jet here. See if 7kk gets the 1v1. And see, that was close. Unfortunately, that round went to the side of Hot State Side State. With 7 seconds to spare. Okay, now we're at a 4. Four to two right now. Four for the side of Sac State. Two for Dominguez Hills. Still, still competitive. Although Dominguez Hills has once again been thrown into a econ eco round with two marshals, a deagle, a frenzy, and a classic on our end. Sac State have full buys, and the jet still does keep her up.
All right, no picks yet in the round, but heavily gaining the control and E main. A main is completely open with Sac State's jet watching it right now with her off. Right now, it looks like Crimson and Salty Splatoon are assuming one is going to peek into the other, but no one has made any moves yet. Heavy stack in mid, looks like they're going to be looking to go into A here with just Viper. If they do pick off Viper here, it might be a little bit easier for them to take A, but unfortunately, Z frame has been picked off mid by the enemy Reyna. Reyna's now pushed up mid. And I think this guy has her all left. Three seconds left in the round. Not really looking to any, down, any map, any sites yet. Now it's a 2v5. Last player standing. Fortunately, it might be a flawless, but we'll see. Okay, I'll get one here. And an ace from CSU's Crimson. Putting Saxe at 5 to the Dominguez Hills is 2. Right now we get an econ reset. And Dominguez Hills once again can get into a full buy, hopefully. With three ults ready at the helm, Z frames, Rocket, Orly, Sky. Her, um, her cabbages, her little cabbage patch kids, and then we have the Sova ult. Hopefully they do secure around here. Perhaps using the raise ult to enter into a site. Well, it looks like they'd be playing for a default this round. You know, he's making space into a main with the sky watching for him. Like the one of you was taken, no one died, and not da no damage taken either. They'll be moving into tree here. Z frame was the first pick on Jason and I from CSU Sac State. Now she's Viper left here to defend for herself. I've got your trail. If pop the sky ult. And they got the the Viper and now the site's free. That's gonna be a, a 5v3 for DH. I'll get him. There. Let's see how this trailer close went. Ooh. The lurk from Viper has been read from Harbor, so now it's gonna be a 4v3 post plant. We are playing good positions here. One helm. Early gets one. We'll play one cross. enemy remaining. Good trade Last from Orly, and now it's gonna be another 1v1 from Orly here against the jet from Sac State. Using a flash. So unfortunately, early lost the one we won, but we do get the round. So now it's gonna be five to three, and she does lose her op in this as well. I believe her econ is still good enough for them to get another one. If I'm not mistaken, they do. But at least we get another round in for Dominguez Hills. Only using one ult as well, so we do still have Z frames ult to play with, as well as um, 7k case of ult. Unfortunately peeked right into the op with no utility clear or flash. Now we're down to a 4v5 from BH. We still do have Z frames ult to play with, but it looks like Saxted is heavily stacking A right now with a good read from them. Viper is lurking right now on the other side on the other end at B main. So we'll see what she's able to play with here. Not much going on in the round right now. I'm gonna be honest, I was a little scared that I disconnected, but it was just quiet. They're hitting A here. All right, we get Z's rocket out here. Let's see how this turns out. Only one player on site. It looks like it's the spike down, but unfortunately she does get two and she does get three. Viper did. Unfortunately, CSU Saxe's Viper went a little bit nuclear there. Looking like the Alamo putting a hold. That's gonna be six for Sac State and three for Megas Hills, and now another Econ round as well, unfortunately. 
We do still have Silver to play with, but that's all we have. It's gonna be a Marshall for, on Arlie, the Digo on Salty Spittoon, and Classic for everyone else. We're gonna be going for a mid for mid presence with Saxony and Serena washing them. Everyone's gonna mid right now. Nice shot, nice trade from Salty Spittoon on Viper. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Z did get picked off, but we did Not get a trade. Fuel. Access green down. Your fuel. Looks like Jet and Harbor have Golden taken control of the and have pushed in aggressively, and they Spike have gotten down, the players mid. on mid. Now it's just Kuno left with a classic and a dream against four players, but you never know. He could totally get this. Another op kill for Sag State's Jet. And now we're at 7-3 on ascent. Thankfully another gun round here. I would say if we're able to get at least two more rounds here and make it a seven you know to five at the end of the half. It's still it is still very winnable. Like I personally do think ascent attack is harder. That's my own personal opinion. So we'll see how they recover here. Full stack B looks like they gambled right this time. It looks like Sack stay gambled wrong. Because now they have four players in A main, but no one's there. Nobody's home. It's just Harbor here. Can he hold on? He does dwindle Kuno down to 8 HP, but he's he should retreated to backside. His teammates have come here for assistance. We'll see how this happens. Viper ulted. Weird ult from the end of Kase. Cal, of course, Sacramento's Viper, choosing her to use her ult CT instead of retaking. It did turn out in her favor because she did end up getting a pick on Z, but that could have been utilized better, I would assume. Insane, a spam, a read, from the sky on Sac State. And looks like DH could not hold on to the post man, unfortunately. Thanks. It's gonna be an 8 oh, movie at the end of the last time of the half. 8 for Sag State and 3 for DH Cardinal. Last round before the switch. It does just kind of seem like these post plants, a lot of it really has just been Sag State overwhelming um, the players on our team, which is unfortunate really, and I do really hope they at least get one more here. I believe on another Econ, which is unfortunate, especially on the last, you know, round of the half, but. You never know. I mean, look, they have a Spectre, a Judge, a Guardian, another Spectre, and Classic. We'll see what Silva gets here. But they do have two ults, so I, I mean, they should use this. Once again, stacking B main. Only Harbor left on the site, and looks like Saxe went for the exact same play of stacking A, a there. This time it turned out in DH's favor, where they get rid of Harbor before it gets anyone else. Um, unsure where Jet got the pick on, but she did end up killing Welcome one of our players. World. Now we have Salty Spittoon using the Viper ult for post plant here. Z frame close to here with a judge. Pick on Reyna. Dope. Three picks right now for Z frame. We get the fourth on Jet here. One enemy remaining. Almost did it himself, but this is around secured for DH here. And we'll be ending the half on an 8 to 4. Jet is running for her life right now, but we'll see. Nowhere no to time. run! We also do have some secure this as well. Last player standing. Switching sides. Alright, ending a set. Eight for Sac State and four for Dominguez Hills. Not too bad. Definitely a pistol win is very much important here, and I believe in them. I know they'll take it. And we'll see what the setups here are. So Sac State's attack wall is gonna be going from B main. Cutting the side off. And we have our defense viper's wall going to be from A into mid. Although it looks like Saxit here is gambling 
They're kind of making a mirror play similar to DH with their Viper lurking in B lobby and the rest of the players looking to take A main and hopefully the site. But it looks like DH did gamble right here and they are sacking four players here as well. It's gonna be a little bit of a bloody battle, but we'll see how this turns out. Defame and Orly have rotated into mid. Think if anyone's there, it looks like they're they might run into the place here. Nice shot from CSU's Crimson. Zekrim almost got that, but unfortunately with the classic, he he could not one have the Reyna. They've taken tree now. And our harbor is now rotating in A. They took inside and tree. And it looks like DH is forced to play for the retake here. Spike planted. Reyna gets another one. The Viper is another one now. It's gonna be a 2v5 retake here. Kuno has entered the site. Last player. the other harbor, and flawless. it's gonna be a flawless from the side of side state. like in the chat we have huge fans for cardinal here we have z frame fans we have let's see yep we have a lot of z frame fans in chat glad to see that and i mean i would say sax and chat might be having a game at 18-2 right now kind of insane the 9kd and this is going to be both sides stacking a man last player standing Almost, it was close. Two of our players got two picks with a classic, but it looks like they've been overpowered, unfortunately. Since Saxe did have the better guns, the Reyna did have a Vandal, it was unfortunate, but it was a good effort. Could have worked. Maybe with better guns. Spike planted. 7kk here trying something similar that we would see from EG's bomb. Where he would flank from behind. We'll see if he gets up here. And they did expect him, unfortunately. So it will be a 10 to 4 on the side for Sac State. And then we'll be going into DH's first buy around here. So this is kind of the problem with a comp with no Sentinel. Um, they are running double controller here, but unfortunately. I, pre I mean, I would think that the Viper would have some stopping power at Harbor, not too much. But neither sides did have do have a Sentinel. Both have double controllers. This is kind of where the defense might fall apart because you don't really have any util necessary to stop the push. And with Sykes State running two duelists in with Reyna and Jet, it, they do have an explosive power that is hard to combat without, let's say, a Killjoy or even a Cypher to stop that. Poison's off. Right now it looks like DH is playing safe, and Saxate has taken almost the entire of mid. Going up. Now leaning towards B main. Doing Assault has two posted around B, and three still at A, not realizing Boxes it yet. Down. But it looks like Kuno is starting to rotate into B. Why people are stacking B main right now? With only Orly the... Orly has been picked off unfortunately with a Marshall by the Jet. Z-Frame gets a huge trade here. That's gonna be a 4v4 retake. They are forced to play for the retake here because CSU has started planning. And we'll see how this retake turns out. Storming in, they've cut off info from me. And before I could even speak, the round was over. Looks like the Viper on CSU Saxe just is kind of impenetrable when it comes to being to their site being taken or their site being retaken, unfortunately. Right, no ults up for out of DH here, but we do have a Reyna ult on the side of Sac State. They're gonna be stacking A main here again, and DH has nobody in A main, so this could go horrible. But we'll see. Hopefully it goes better. Okay, now we do have Salty Spittoon here, putting her Viper the Viper wall down. But they are looking to take A main here. You hear an airy spam on the from the end of B main, but without anyone there, they have now started to rotate to A. They do have the lurking viper, and Kuno is not made aware of this, so instead of rotating to A, Orly does stay on B. 
We do have four players trying to take A here. Harbor has put his wall down. And Viper will be running into the Reyna here in tree. We'll see who wins a duel. Is it Crimson takes the 1v1? And now Sac State has taken the site here. These two players fall back. Four C3 take once again. Wait, did we take? This US pipe then gets a kill on Z frame. Unfortunately, does not get anyone. Last player standing. Reyna is now at three, and now we are once again left with 7kk here. Playing for Now it is match point 12 to 4 on the side of Sac State. Dominguez says, unfortunately, has not won a match single point. defense round. But, you know, they say never back down. Careful. Never what? Pick it up. I mean. There have been bigger comebacks. I can speak from experience because I personally choked our regional championship game. <laughs> we were up 11, they were 3, and well, they came back and lost and beat us in overtime. So anything's possible, as long as you keep a healthy attitude. I believe here, I believe. CSUDH is a little more aggressive here, let's see how this turns out. They are now taking B main here by force, they will run in Viper here, will she be able to hold on? Viper still gets a kill here on Z frame, unfortunately. Oh wow. They have- and her- their friends have come to help. The aggressive play did not turn out well for DH here. Although Solid Spittoon might have something to say about it. Wins the 1v1 against CSU's Crimson's- Okay, Reyna. 7kk kills- Last player standing. The harbor, but now it is 7kk versus 3 players here. From Sac State. There's guys running A with the bomb. Does he know Jax? Now he does. And the Viper is looking to push him here as well. He's gonna be 1v2 and push it through now. Win. It is a 2 0 for Sac State here. GG. It was a great effort. And, you know, hopefully we see more matches soon, more, sh more Cardinal game streams soon because they are a fun game, a fun team to watch. They're a bunch of very, very talented players. All right, thank you for letting me take over for Dim here. You guys have a good night, and thank you for watching us. Please, you know, come tune into our future streams as well, and, you know, see the next Val game if you like Val. But the entire week is filled with games to be streamed. Thank you for your audience, and we'll see you again next time.